Alright, you're good to go. idea to react to my own music videos not necessarily react but like I want to show y'all the process of how I made them and a little different than behind the scenes so we're gonna be watching the music video and I'm gonna pause it and let you know either what's going on in my head in that moment or how we got to that moment because most of the time it's like improv so um, I think the first one we're gonna do is WAP because WAP just hit 3 million on the channel and I'm really excited. Thank you guys. Y'all are amazing. Rock the fuck on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to watch WAP. And I'm going to explain the process of how WAP came to be what the fuck it is. With so, you get a whole lot of creative let's get it. Come through ads. Skip. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this part, um, I rented, Nichelle and I rented an Airbnb in Dallas. Um, that's where the location is. I know a lot of people ask about that. That's an Airbnb in Dallas. There's a 90s one and an 80s one. And it's a duplex. So there was people outside watching me make this trail of, <laughs> make this trail of rolls, like, to go into the house. And they were literally off to the side, like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and I actually did pick one up and put it in my mouth. I actually ate it, so. Um, they were just off to the side watching me like, what the hell? Oh, and then right there, that was um, Radio Rahim, the label owner in my management, like sleeping on the couch right there. We actually did a scene where I like took a bite. He had a pizza right here and I leaned in and took a bite, but it didn't make the cut. We're fine. And this whole scene was the next morning. We filmed most of this at night. And then the next morning, this was this was the scene. I hardly did my makeup. I put my hair to the side, threw on that that jacket, and just went ham. <laughs> that house was so cool. Those wings full from last night. Hey. Okay, hold on. That whole part right there, I didn't know any of the words. So, <laughs> so we had to, um, basically, we did WAP. The original WAP came out, and like three or four days later, we decided we were going to do this one. So I don't even know the words to the original song yet. But so how I wrote it was we literally pulled it up on YouTube, like a lyric video, and rewrote it line by line. Like paused it, wrote it, paused it, wrote it. And so we filmed this the next day after we wrote it and recorded it. We literally filmed it the next day. So I had no idea what any of the lyrics were. Like I, that's why I'm like, eating and like doing different things and just like uh, uh, because I had no idea it'd be like that that was at like six o'clock in the morning bouncing those buns in the backyard I got cookbooks hey hey Michelle killed this I need y'all to notice that she doesn't take a bite of the pizza the entire video because she's vegan. <laughs> she's vegan! That's okay. I didn't know we were filming in that part. I was just like sitting in the background, but they put the pizza like on my eyes. That was cool. That bed, that bed that we're sitting in with all the food in it, I actually slept in that bed after we filmed it. And it was the most comfortable bed because I was exhausted, but it was like a cat. It was like, a, actually, I think it was just a king, but it was the most comfortable bed I think I've ever slept in. So 
good job airbnb owners also they told us we couldn't shoot music videos in there but we did it anyway which honestly it should help with business right right Listen, I'm a double dipper, a I made that I made that shirt overnight so that was one of my dad's shirts my dad's like a really big dude and it was just like a regular white t-shirt had like holes in it and I happened to have some puff paint and we just wrote big old bib let it sit overnight and we ended up using it the next day that is not the best line ever when I was writing it that was the last line that I wrote I wrote the whole thing and that was the last thing that I was stuck on I was like what am I gonna put here because this parts iconic right right what's what's the original line uh, touch that little dangly thing the swing in the back of my throat right that's a iconic line in the original song so I was like whatever I say right here has to be just as badass and finally came up with it and I was very proud of it and I did a show the other night where the whole crowd was like fuck blue cheese which is pretty amazing spicy wasabi I'm asking the waiter for more edamame they hook it up cause food is my hobby lard is the name or that's what they call me big bitch definite appetite evident buffalo smelling it job I'm a resident lemon pepper loo we got me settling I think she was eating a donut right there hey all the extras in this like did an amazing job too. They have like the old school games and stuff. Hey, uh. Yeah. He was he was sitting on the toilet eating a wing and he was watching our behind the scenes on his phone, which I didn't even notice until the video already came out. Like I had no I didn't notice that he was watching behind the scenes, so that was pretty cool. Hey. She really was kicking my ass right there. Oh, I can see the owners getting mad that I put chicken in their wall art <laughs> and pizza. Oh my gosh. This part took for it took like 20 tries to get that <laughs> it took like 20 tries to actually get that roll in her mouth but yeah it was that that video i'm so in love with that video shout out nichelle shout out cut down trees shout out never satisfied shout out radio raheem like shout out everyone involved it was amazing and um we did it we did that whole thing in three days i mean rewrote it recorded it filmed it, edited it, and put it out. So, shout out Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion for making a banger. Let's get it! Oh, wait, comment below um, which one I should tell you about next, which one I should react to next. Ding! Lottie pop, lottie pop, oh lottie, 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 lottie pop.